If you're having trouble with your petrol mower this spring, we've got some helpful tips to help get you going. One of the most common issues after a winter in the shed is that the spark plug may need cleaning or replacing. To check your spark plug, firstly, locate the cap that covers the spark plug. The cap location and appearance will be different depending on what model of mower you have. Make sure to check the instruction or maintenance manual for your particular model. Look for a wire and a cap similar to this and you should be in the right place. To remove the cap, grasp it firmly and pull it off. You may need to wiggle it back and forth to loosen the cap. The spark plug will now be visible underneath the cap you just removed. Using the tool that came with your mower, loosen the spark plug by placing the tool over it and turning it in an anti-clockwise direction. After a couple of turns, you should be able to remove the spark plug by hand. Once you've removed the spark plug, have a good look at it to determine if it needs cleaning. Refer to your mower's maintenance manual if you're unsure. To clean the spark plug, use a wire brush to remove any dirt that has built up. If cleaning the spark plug doesn't resolve the problem, you can just replace it with a new one. Check which replacement you should buy in your mower's manual or online at www.gardenservicecentre.co.uk. To fit your spark plug, carefully start screwing it into place in a clockwise direction. Ensure that the screw threads are properly aligned when inserting so as not to damage it. The spark plug should turn freely with very little effort if the threads are properly aligned. Continue to screw the spark plug in place and use the tool to tighten it. Make sure you don't over tighten as this may cause damage to your mower. Relocate the spark plug cap by lining up the metal contact in the cap with the top of the spark plug. Push and wiggle the cap until it is firmly back in place and feels secure. Warning. Never run the engine without the air filter element installed. The next part to check on your mower is the air filter. Firstly, locate the cover for the air filter. The location may differ depending on your model of mower. Check your instruction or maintenance manual to confirm the correct location. The cover will have either a simple catch or a screw that will need to be loosened to remove the cover. Either press the catch and gently swing the cover off the locating prongs, or loosen the screw and remove the screw and the filter box entirely as shown. If there is any debris in the cover, make sure you clean this out. The filter should simply come out of the housing with a gentle pull. Now that you have removed your air filter, you should brush off any loose debris and wash the filter in some warm water with a little washing up liquid. Submerge the air filter and squeeze it a few times. Squeeze out any excess water and place between some absorbent tissue. Press down on the filter a few more times to dry out any remaining moisture. It is essential the filter is completely dry at which point you are now ready to place it back into position. To replace your air filter, simply reverse the removal process and secure the cover back in place. Warning, refuel in a well-ventilated area with the engine stopped. Do not smoke or allow flames or sparks in the area where the engine is refueled or where petrol is stored. Avoid repeated or prolonged contact with skin or inhalation of vapour. Caution: Petrol is highly flammable and extreme caution must be taken when handling or working with it. Keep out of the reach of children. After a winter away, any fuel that may have been left in your mower will have become contaminated. This means you will have to empty your fuel tank and refuel with fresh fuel. Firstly, locate the petrol filler cap. Clean the area around the cap to make sure no sediment can enter the fuel tank once it's opened. Position a suitable container to collect the fuel you'll be removing. Remove the fuel filler cap and tilt the mower to the right. Start fuel emptying into your container. You may want someone to help you with this. Refill the tank using fresh, unleaded petrol following the instructions in your user guide. Make sure not to overfill the mower. As a rule, there should never be any fuel within the filling neck. Clean up any splashes or overflowed petrol and replace the filler cap. Make sure the cap is finger tight. With Challenge Extreme models only, to ensure all of the contaminated fuel is removed, you will need to flush the system. Remove the air filter cover and filter to give yourself room to work. 
Place some paper towel underneath the air filter box to catch fuel that may leak out. Underneath the air filter box, there is a nut that needs to be loosened. Make sure you know which nut to unscrew. It should be the frontmost one, indicated here. Unscrew the nut slowly, but do not remove it completely. Fuel should start to drip out. Once a regular drip has started, allow the fuel to drain until enough has expelled to fill an egg cup. Tighten the nut up again with a spanner, ensuring that you don't over tighten the nut. This should have removed all remaining contaminated fuel from the system. Remove the used paper towel and mop up any spillages on your mower or surrounding areas. Remember, always ensure you dispose of old fuel in a safe and responsible way. Check with your local authority or recycling centre for the nearest location for used fuel disposal. Warning. Do not operate the machine in an enclosed or poorly ventilated area, as the exhaust gas contains toxic substances. Keep hands, feet, hair and clothing away from all the moving parts of the machine. The exhaust and other parts of the machine will become hot during use. Make sure that the blade is securely fastened before starting the engine. Now we can move on to starting your mower. Your model of mower may have a primer bulb. If it does, push this three or four times. Ensure you don't press the primer bulb too many times, as this may flood the engine. If your model has a start-stop activation bar, pull the starter handle and rope from the pull cord gently until you feel resistance. Now, pull quickly. If your mower fails to start after three attempts, repeat the starting process. When the engine starts, gently return the starter rope to the pull cord guide. Once you've completed all of the steps we've spoken about, you should be ready for the season ahead and smooth mowing. If you're still having trouble with your mower, please contact our technical support team on 0845 450 5299 or go online at www.gardenservicecentre.co.uk.